I know this video is a little past due, considering the last Tuesday now, we had lost um, Neil Peart, the drummer of Rush, who passed away from a brain tumor at the age of 67 years old. And, you know, this is something that Neil Peart has been suffering with for the last three years. And it never went public. You know, Neil Peart, you know, when I think of Neil Peart, I just think of just a phenomenal drummer. By far, probably the greatest drummer of all time. I would definitely put him in the top five. When it comes to greatest drummers, the stuff this guy could do on drums was just phenomenal. You go back and you listen to some of those classic Rush albums and tunes, like Fly By Night, 2112, Anthem, you know, Cygnus, um, Fountain of Lameth, The Necromancer, you know. You listen to tracks like this, you know. Spirit of the Radio, hell, anything off of Hemispheres, you know, Closer to the Heart, and so many other great tracks within the, you know, Rust discography, and you listen to the stuff he could do on drums, it was just absolutely impressive, the fills he would add, and that's the thing, Neil Peart took what he did very seriously. By far one of the most creative drummers to, to ever come along. I mean, watching him do drum solos live was just absolutely jaw-dropping, breathtaking. <laughs> you know, because there was nobody like that. And there's a lot of great drummers out there too, don't get me wrong, but he was just an absolute showsman, you know, when it came to playing drums. The thing notably about Neil Peart, too, is, you know, he was also an author who wrote seven books. And he did a couple fictional books, too, I believe. Yeah, he just had a great presence about him and was just an all-out good human being. You know, politically, he was a libertarian. You know, he believed that you should be yourself no matter what. You know, and the thing I liked about Neil Peart, too, is he never cared to be in the public eye. He was a very private human being. He didn't like to do a lot of interviews either, you know. And the thing is, for being such a phenomenal drummer, the guy had no ego. No ego at all. You know. And this is something we could all learn as human beings. You know, we could definitely learn from Neil Peart, you know, when it comes to this. You know, Neil Peart had, Neil Peart had joined Rush in August of 1974, you know, not too long after the debut album came out. As you all know, John Rusty was the original drummer, who also, sadly, is also no longer with us, too. He passed away several years ago now. But in closing, I just want to say thanks to Neil Peart. Thanks for all the great drumming you provided for everybody. And, you know, I guess I should mention, too, you know, I wasn't always, like, a huge Rush fan. In fact, early on, when I was younger, when I was a teenager, I could not, I was not into Rush at all. <coughs> this is back when I was really into thrash metal, really highly into death metal, which I'm still into, don't get me wrong. But I wouldn't branch out of that. I, everything to me had to be fast and brutal all the time. You know, and heavy as hell. It wasn't until maybe 2002 that I decided, you know what, I want to check out more Rush music. I started getting into Rush around this period, you know. And I'll tell you what, the first album I bought was Caress of Still way back in 2002. And I was actually pretty blown away by that album. Especially tracks like, especially the last two epic tracks on it, The Necromancer and Fountain of Lameth, 
or Fountain of Weymouth. I just thought were phenomenal epic tracks, but I bought 2112 and was just more blown away. Farewell to the Kings. You know, great albums. And I still definitely need to get a lot more of their albums. And I've just recently started listening to their 80s albums, which I've ignored for years, the synth era. And there was a couple good albums of that era. Signals, um... Grace Under Pressure, Grace Under Pressure. Those would be my two favorite albums from that era, you know. Even albums like Counterparts and Test for Echoes aren't bad, you know. And the last two albums, Snakes and Errors and Clockwork Angels, were great. Clockwork Angels, by far, was a great way for Rush to go out. By far the best album, probably, since Moving Pictures. But yeah, just a phenomenal human being, a phenomenal drummer, a very intelligent human being, you know, and he's going to be missed. That drumming's going to be missed, and it's definitely never going to be replaced. You know, he influenced a ton of drummers, a ton of musicians. There were so many people, you know, as I was reading through Facebook saying thank you to Neil Peart for what he brought unto the world with his drumming. And rightfully so, because he deserves it. And in closing, I just want to say rest in peace to Neil Peart, and thank you for everything you brought unto the world when it comes to drumming and your influence.